Hey guys, to celebrate hitting half a million dollars in sales, I'm gonna be revealing to you guys how I'm currently scaling to 10K plus a day, and I'm gonna be revealing with you the revenue, uh, the ad spend, and the profit as well. So basically you will get access and you'll see my Shopify dashboard, you will see uh, my ads manager basically, and you will also see um, order metrics dashboard. So make sure to stay till the end of the video because I will make a pop-up and uh, I will basically show you a winning product that you can test. Uh, it is a potential winning product. So make sure to stay till the end of the video so you don't miss a potential winner as well. So in my last video, I talked about how, how I've been penalized by Facebook. Uh, basically, I had low customer feedback score and my ads got heavily penalized. And here you can see the revenue was very, very low. And even on some days, I was just losing money. Um, I was working very, very hard for uh, several weeks now to improve my customer feedback score. And we finally managed to make it better. You know, I'm still penalized, but it's still, uh, but it's just way better than before, you know. And as you can see, so I was at 1K a day, you know, it's just basically scaled very, very quickly. I'm just scaling very quickly. So. Let's just show you from Sunday, or let's just show you from here, Saturday till now. So I was making, so, you know, on Saturday, I think this is Saturday, um, I made 1K, basically 1,300. Um, then I just decided, okay, right now I can scale before Chinese New Year's. So I just scaled to 3K. Um, yesterday was 7.7K, and today I'm already at 8K, and it's still half a day, you know, it's still, uh, I still have a half, a half day left, so I'm scaling very quickly right now. Um, as you can see, you know, it's still 12 p.m., so uh, there's still a lot of time. So right now, let's go into Ads Manager. Okay, so right now we're at my Ads Manager, and this is just one, uh, one of my biggest scaling campaigns currently. And here you can see, like, I'm launching a ton of $100 a day ad sets. And that is because I have a proven winner that I've been selling for three months. And just right now, I just got rid, uh, I just slightly have less penalization, so I know I can scale more. So that's why I'm doing $100 ad sets per day. And I just launched a ton of them. You can see here, so many, you know, I'm like, I think like there is like 50 ad sets or something, probably like, like a lot of ad sets here, you know, uh, probably like 40 or something ad sets, you know, at $100 per day. And so what I'm doing is with them is I'm usually like narrowing it down by uh, the best age ranges. So I'm basically looking at the breakdown and I'm looking, I'm just breaking it down by age, gender, um, also by placement. So if it's Facebook feed or Instagram feed and also by the device. So if it's like an iPod, uh, iPad, uh, desktop, iOS device or Android device. And basically what I'm doing is, um, let's say I have five interest ad sets. So basically I would duplicate five of them and just target desktop and then duplicate another five of them and target just um, iOS devices and duplicate them so many times and just testing what works the best. You know, uh, For my products, I found the desktop is actually working the best. Like people on computers are just conver converting the most uh, for my product, you know, so uh, I'm basically doing that. I'm also testing a lot of lookalikes. So I'm, I use Trackify and I use a lot of the 10%, 15% and 20% lookalikes. And I just basically target US as one lookalike. And the second lookalike, I, I just target uh, UK with Canada together. Um, and basically like with lookalikes, I just test everything that's possible. So video views, 50%, 75%, 95%. Uh, view content, add to cart, initiate checkout, uh, purchase, and there's also add to payment info uh, from Trackify, which I'm using as well for lookalikes. So basically I'm testing all the percentages in Trackify that has, it's like 1%, 2%, 3%, all the way to 10, 15, and 20. So I'm testing all of that. Um, also I'm testing them on US, Canada, and UK together. Uh, what I'm also doing is I'm doing also a lot of interest targeting um, as well. You know, interest targeting are like a lot of interest targeting are actually doing way better than lookalikes, guys. So don't be just so focused on like when should I start lookalikes, you know. Um, really, like interest ad sets, like 
you know, this is like an interest ad set and it's just really crushing it, row S7, you know. And a lot of people are asking me about targeting, guys. So uh, my product is in one niche and I'm just targeting like all the different niches. Like, uh, like this ad set is cooking, you know, it's totally unrelated, you know. Then this one is healthy diet. This is completely unrelated to the product, you know. But since I scaled so much, I can just launch, I can just launch ad sets uh, with no interest and they're also doing pretty well, you know. Um, I think like here, so this is a campaign budget optimization, um, yeah, com optimization campaign. And this is like just no interest basically. Um, so yeah, this is no interest, this is no interest, you know, and it's working, working very well. It's just different placement. This is iPhone, desktop, iPad and Android. So it seems like iPhone is working very, very poorly for my product. Um, also, I want to show you guys retargeting. So I do a lot of retargeting. I, I teach my students a lot, like how I retarget. And basically, I use several methods. The first method that I'm showing you guys is DPA, dynamic product ads. And this is, uh, so this is doing very well. You can see like nine row S. I just launched it, I think yesterday, you know, this is 15 row S. 16 row S, 11, 15, 11, you know, so this is performing very, very well. So I'm just testing everything for retargeting. Um, also like what I wanted to cover for retargeting, a lot of people, they just retarget, um, they just retarget add to cart and view content, right? I'm just like retargeting everything. So I'm retargeting people who engage with my ad. Um, I also retarget people who initiate checkout. Um, there's also the top 5% time spent. I'm also retargeting those. I also retarget people who add to cart twice on my store. Uh, basically like everything that is possible, you know, I also retarget video viewers as well with different products, you know. Um, so, you know, like for people who viewed my main product, I just retarget them for different products as well. You know, it's just a lot of retargeting, a lot of different angles. And basically what is my method is, just do a lot of testing and test as much as possible, you know, target people with all angles, make sure to have a lot of different video ads. So you want to have the one, one main one, then you need a video review ad, uh, then you need some images, you know, that you can use for retargeting, and then you need to do DPA retargeting as well. And basically the thing is, you know, um, how my product is still crushing it after three months is because I have my own unique video uh, with a review that nobody else uh, really has, you know? And that's why like, because my video is unique, um, it's still just crushing it to this day, even after three months since scaling. I started scaling this product in October and it's still going strong. It's still going strong after, I think it's almost four months, right? October, um, sorry, November, December, and right now. So it's almost four months and it's still going strong, you know. So a lot of people, they focus too much on like uh, one day click or seven day click, narrow it down by engaged shoppers or not narrowing down. And that shit doesn't really matter, guys. You should be really focusing on, you should be really focusing on your ad creative. So you need to have a really good thumbnails, your really good video ads. If you have custom video ads, like that you made your own or that you outsource and hired someone to do professionally, that will help you guys a lot, you know, and review videos do so much because when we are dropshipping, there's kind of like lack of trust. People are not sure like if you're like a scammer or stuff like that and like review videos work really well for retargeting. Um, even for like cold, uh, cold audiences, it still works really well. Okay, so yeah, let me show you something else. So I'm also scaling with campaign budget optimization. I'm testing something smaller at like 1000 uh, at like uh, 250 and $500, you know. So basically I'm just testing everything. Um, okay guys, so now let's talk about the profit then. Okay, so let's just refresh this and see, you know, um, what is happening today. Um, so right now it's like kind of 12, right now it's 12, um, 12 p.m. of the ad account. So we still have we still have another like 12 hours till the end of the day. And right now we're at uh, order metrics. 
So order metrics is a Shopify app that just tracks tracks your profit, right? And basically I'm gonna show you like the, the progression basically. So on Saturday I made um, so this was the this was the first day I kind of started scaling because uh, my penalization just got better. And you know, you can see so it was still very, very bad, you know, um, just just eight percent profit. I was still struggling. Like the days before I was losing money. So let's check the day before. Um, it was very bad, I think. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I lost I lost like hundred hundred dollars. Like the conversion like I don't know why, but like Facebook how when they penalized me, like my conversion rate was just one percent, you know. And then all of a sudden, like without any changes, the next day. So the next day it's three point six percent, you know. Just really weird stuff that happens when your ad account and your Facebook page gets penalized. So really guys, take care of your customer feedback score. Make sure to ship fast. Make sure to have good customer service. Uh, the more VAs you have, usually the better, you know. Uh, I have 24 hour support with my VAs. Um, so then let's look at the next day. So the next day I really increased my ad spend as well. And that day we are at uh, 3,700 revenue and 16% profit. Um, so it, it is starting to get better, right? And as you guys can see, you know, uh, my average order profit that day was $35. So that's why like when you see uh, cost per purchase, you know, here, um, you know, cost per purchase, $16, $20. Yeah, my average is like $21. This is still profitable for me, you know? This is still profitable because the product, it costs like $40. I, I sell it for $40, right? And if I would just calculate my normal profit, it would be 25 bucks, you know? So I thought I would be making like $3.50 per order, right? But that is not reality because I really optimize my store and my backend systems to increase my average order value. So instead of, instead of my average order value to be $40, it is 56 and the profit is way higher, you know? Um, so here, you know, here, um, what I also really like about um, order metrics, you know, you can see here the net profit, the profit margin, um, the average order profit. This is what I use to determine like when to cut ads, you know? Um, you know, because before I thought like $25 um, is a break even point of the product. This is what I would kill. But right now I know that it's $35, the break even point. So I can, I can spend a little bit longer. Um, okay, so what else can I show you guys? So that was an ad spend. So that was an ad spend, 1,700. Um, yeah, that was 1,700. Yeah, 1,700. Uh, dollars and I was like okay so this is going well my profit margins are going up revenue is going up so I just decided to go really really like aggressive so what I did is I raised my ad spend by four thousand dollars overnight and a lot of people they're thinking like oh well, that's really crazy right but the thing guys is I added four thousand dollars in ad spend extra but I also throughout the day, I kill ads that are not performing well. So I kill them, you know? And when we, when we look at the, the next day, that's basically yesterday, that's Monday. So we are at $1,700 ad spend and it ended up being 3,700. So basically I killed half of the ads, you know? And at that, at that day it was $7,700 in revenue and I'm still testing a lot of ad sets, you know, it's very, uh, very much. So it's 14% uh, profit, uh, yeah, one, $1,000 profit that day. And I was like, okay, so this is going really well. Chinese New Year is approaching. So I wanna really maximize like my sales before I kill everything. So basically I decided to add another $4,000 in ad spend, uh, you know, like the next day for today which is today, right? So let's check how today is going. So let's just refresh that and see what's happening. Okay, so we are currently at $8,600 in sales and the profit margin is 23%, you know, so it's improving. So that's, that's really great, guys. So, you know, as you can see, the average order profit is $30 for me. This is what I'm looking at, you know. I'm not looking at the break-even point $25.
I'm looking at the $30. Um, yeah, so basically what's also very good with, um, what's very good with profit um, uh, order metrics is that you see the ad spend per order, like average, on average I'm spending uh, $18.80 um, for that. Uh, I can see the net profit, um, you know, guys. Um, so basically, you know, this is, this is how I'm currently scaling adding a lot of $100 ad sets and scaling like really aggressively and horizontally, you know, uh, launching lots of ad sets and killing them quickly. You know, I'm not doing a lot of vertical scaling. Uh, this just didn't work so well. Um, I'll be testing it more, but this has been working really well. A lot of people, they ask me about like if I do manual bidding. Um, to be honest, I never tried manual bidding. Uh, mostly what I'm focusing on is just horizontal scaling and just adding so many ad sets at $100. Uh, sometimes I was doing 150. Um, I think in November I was doing $500 ad sets, you know. I was also doing um, campaign budget optimization at 500 or $1,000. And this is the way I'm scaling, you know. Um, I don't really like manual bidding. Um, I just like everything on automatic. And, you know, I just focus on, I just focus on basically like finding out new audiences uh, thinking about my like thinking about my niche and f like figuring out new interests that I can target, new lookalikes, you know, and just figure out like everything that I can test basically, you know. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Uh, it really, I really appreciate that because like my videos are pretty boring, you know, and just like having you watch the whole video, it just really means a lot to me, you know, and I really appreciate all your support. If you can do something for me, please share this video with some friends um, who just want extra motivation or who are thinking about dropshipping, you know, and they want to see someone's whole journey documented on YouTube. So please make sure to share with them my YouTube channel. Tell them basically that I shared my whole like journey on YouTube and, you know, share it to them and subscribe to my channel. Uh, have a great day and see you in the next video.